So, you need to be cross-contamination aware. But what does this mean? Well, cross-contamination happens when gluten is transferred from one substance or an object to another. So the gluten-free food becomes contaminated with gluten. Even small amounts of cross-contamination can be enough to make you feel unwell or even damage the lining of your gut. So how small is small? Let's say you light your toast in the morning and you use the family toaster every day. The gluten containing crumbs that stick to your gluten free bread is enough to have a long term effect. You're going to ask how can that be when we're talking about such a small amount of crumbs? Well, over the days and weeks this contamination builds up and the damage is done. So it's important to recognise that cross contamination on a regular basis will have effects on your health even if you don't feel unwell at the time. So how do you avoid cross-contamination? You can reduce the risk by following a few simple steps. You should clean all surfaces and utensils with soap and water and prepare any gluten-free foods first on this clean surface. This is a common area of cross-contamination. Have a separate chopping board and toaster and if you don't have a separate toaster, you can always use toasty bags. Use separate butter, margarine or jams for gluten-free products and don't be tempted to share these items. And lastly, have a separate cupboard for gluten-free foods if you can.